Previously on Banjo Tooie. Chris, not very pig like, if you ask me. Actually, it's crispy bacon. Oh, I see. Um. You know what? I'm actually not prepared for this, but. I want to go ahead and try it. We're actually going to go inside here. Hey, Banjo, I can see a Jiggy down there. Let's take a look. Oh, God, another one. Lord Woo Fuck Fuck. Self important anglerfish. What? Who dares intrude on Lord Woo Fuck Fuck while he sleeps in his appalling cramped locker? Oh, er. We've just brought some mail for you, Lord Fuck. Don't lie to me. You were going to steal my jiggy and drain my home, leaving me to flap pathetically around on the bottom until I shriveled up and died, weren't you? Something like that. Then a watery grave awaits you. So yes, this is uh, this level's boss battle. This is actually kind of a difficult one. You have to be very careful and not get freaking destroyed by this guy. It may actually be worth it to, uh... Stay out of first-person mode and... Until you actually have a grip for what you're doing. Definitely stay away from the... Oh, God. How the hell am I supposed to maneuver around this guy? He's very, very fast. I'm gonna go ahead and mention this now. There is actually an easier way to fight this guy. But I want to try it this way, because I don't normally fight him this way. You want to look for a very specific part of his body that actually lights up. And, of course, you want to watch out for his, uh, electric beams. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. If I can hit him, though. I do think you need to use grenade eggs, so I'm not wrong there. There we go. Ay, me precious boils! I didn't know boils could be precious, but I'll take your word for it. Moving around very, uh. Not very effectively, basically. There we go. There we go. Finally. And yeah, whenever you hit him, he just uh, knocks you away. You don't actually lose health. There we go. Do I have to be, like, right up next to it for me to hit this? Apparently! Okay, well... Whatever you want, video game, I'll do it. There! Okay, good, got it. <laughs> have you no sympathy? Ain't a poor blind fish. Time I open my eyes to see what I'm doing. So, he is, uh, not dead yet. Hitting the boils did not do anything. Well, they hurt him, but, uh, he's now angry, so now we have to actually take him out for good. And, if you couldn't figure it out, his eyes are the weak point, so we're gonna have to aim for them next. This means we don't have to worry about going to the sides anymore, but on the other hand, we're gonna be very close to, uh, getting hit by him, like, head-on. 
Er, please, not my eyes. Okay, yeah, this is where things are going to be a little challenging. I did get a hit in them right there. Let's see, you turn around. Okay, cool. Three more hits left. Let me grab some more eggs, just in case. You want to be careful. You don't want to just, like, go head-on and see if you can maybe get the shots, because I feel like that's basically a death sentence. So just take your time, swim away for a bit, then try it if you get hit. There are some health pickups, so it's not like you're completely in danger. See, you only have one hit left. Yeah, let's just finish this. Ha ha! Curses. Things seem to have gone belly up. One hundred years of oceanic tyranny brought to an undignified end. So he was apparently a tyrant or something? Well, I'm glad we destroyed him. Okay, well that's going to be the boss for this world. Like I said, definitely not one of my favorites. <laughs> But hey, it's over now. We never have to worry about doing it ever again. And at the end of the day, isn't that what matters most? I'd hope so. I'd really, really hope so. So yeah, this world's been going on for quite a bit now. I think we better uh, start going around and finishing things up. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to Atlantis. And we're actually going to go down this uh, tunnel I pointed at earlier that I didn't actually do anything with. Because truth be told, we needed the uh, Talon Torpedo before we did anything. Now that we have that, though, we can do whatever the hell we want. <laughs> also, I realize I still have to show off what's behind that door in uh, Mumbo's hut. It didn't really even matter too much because we couldn't do anything there anyway, but... You know, I always like showing what we will end up having to do in the future. I feel like it's a good way to kind of assess all of our uh, future goals and everything. Let's see. Right. I hate these guys so much. They're not really that hard or difficult or anything, it's just they're kind of a nuisance to just, like, take out whenever you enter the area. Okay, we got another warp pad. That warp pad is not going to be very helpful. Probably the most useless warp pad in the entire game. Next to the Wumba's Wigwam in a Glitter Culch Mine. Uh, here we have a Jinjo. And, oh, okay, we actually have a uh, Kazooie door. And we are going to see what lies beyond this door. Hope that sounds like a plan to you guys, because, well, we're already inside, so, too bad. Okay, looks like we have... Oh, we're in Glitter Gulch Mine. Hmm. That's interesting. Why are we here in Glitter Gulch Mine, you may be asking. Isn't this a bit out of the way? 
Should we even be here? I have no idea anymore, but let's find out. So hey, remember that Jinjo? Yep. That's basically what that is. And you can actually climb back up here. I never actually knew that until my last playthrough. I thought you actually had to uh, leave through Glitter Gulch Mine and then come all the way back, but no, you can swim back. But yeah, we've uh, got the last Jinjo in Glitter Gulch Mine now, thank god. That one's kind of just been sitting over there for a long time, but now we have it. And we have the white Jinjo, too. So that is uh, two Jinjo families complete. I always think it's nice when you don't get the one Jinjo family complete first, because that's usually the first one you complete. So it was nice to have kind of a change for once. And with that, I think we can move on. Don't think there's anything else worth uh, mentioning in this uh, in this area. The uh, sunken ship area anyway where the hell am I going oh no okay here we go I was like where the hell's the exit there it is the exit was behind our noses the whole time and I'm gonna go ahead and use this as a shortcut I guess this is the one use you have for this portal no, no, hold on. No, 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 no. Get back, get back. There we go. Uh, gonna go back to Atlantis again. And now we're going to explore what's down this way. You guys should already know, we did see this very, very briefly. Yes, this is actually the uh, room with Humba Wumba, and I think we have a Jiggy right there. Let's go ahead and take it. Thank you. There's Humba's Globo. If we can navigate around to grab it. Come on, come on. No, come back here. There we go, jeez. You're a picky little bastard, aren't you? <laughs> but yeah, let's see what uh, Humba has to offer in this world. In this world, we are a submarine. Wumba call this submarine. Use control stick to turn on spot and A for much speed. Press B for sonic ping attack or Z for torpedo attack. And yep, there we go. We have the torpedo... Er, torpedo. We have the submarine transformation. Uh, you can actually fight Ward Luwu Fok Fok with this thing. So this is what I meant uh, in actually having another means for actually fighting that guy. But, um, like I said, I wanted to make the challenge a little more difficult for me. Uh, the only advantage the submarine actually has over uh, Banjo and Kazooie by themselves is the fact that you can move around a lot faster and easier, and then also uh, you don't run out of torpedoes like you would with eggs, so... You don't have to worry about that as much. But we are going to very quickly go back to Locker's Cavern. Because there is actually a Jiggy that we will need to use this thing with.
and that's what this hole is for right here. Got down here at last, eh? How about trying my little shooting challenge? Score 60 points, and I might give you a prize. So this is the typical shoot things and get points for jiggies. That's what this one is. Not much to really say about it. This one is probably, again, one of the easier ones just because of how fast the submarine moves. The submarine really is, like, I think one of the best tr transformations in the entire game. It's just utilized so little, though. That's what I kind of feel like the Wumba transformations are in this game. I mean, there's one or two levels where the transformations are really, really cool, and uh, they actually have kind of a long-standing purpose, but it's really much different when you look at these compared to what they were in the first game. I feel like in the first game, there was always, like, a reason for transforming. In this game, I mean, there is, but just for, like, one very small task. Also, I'm going to lose? How the hell did I make that happen? But basically, what I was trying to say is I feel like they just had more purpose. Like, the transformations had a bigger purpose in the first game as they do here. I don't know, and really, I mean, you can't really even say that for sure, because, uh... Honestly, if you look at, like, the last level when we were in the van, I mean, the van had a pretty damn big purpose. It opened up everything, but... I don't know, you didn't feel like you were actively doing much with the van. You were just kind of just going around putting coins in things. I don't know, I just feel like with the other transformations, they always felt more meaningful. Hell, this one, this is like the only jiggy this transformation has. In the other games, there were like some jiggy, like multiple jiggies you needed to form to get. Okay, I guess you don't have to aim so much with this thing. I guess that was my problem before, because yeah, I got like way more points this time. Yep, cough it up. Cough it up. We know how this dance goes, Granny. Give us the jiggy. Give us our prize. No, I don't. Leave me alone. Haven't you had enough failing for one day, Grunty? I am kind of kicking your ass here, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, well... Now that we've done that, we are, well... Pretty much, we're already done with the submarine, so that was very, very short-lived. I mean, you really can't even go around trying to find other things to do. There, like, literally is nothing else. So, yeah, let's go back to Atlantis. And, yeah, of course, you can't go to the town square as the submarine. That would be funny if that could work, but, eh, no way in hell. Guess we'll just have to uh, let it go. <laughs> kind of felt like that was a free willy moment right there. Okay, now that we've done with that, we can uh, just finish up the few things we have left to do. There really isn't a lot. I mean, again, we're kind of at that point where it's just like, eh, we're almost done. Uh, we need to make our way back to the main room of Jolly Roger Lagoon. And by the main room, I mean the room we kind of entered this place in. Because there was actually a Kazooie door right there. When we first entered. There is actually another building in here uh, we can visit, but... You actually need a another move in order to get what's inside. I think there is a way you can technically uh, 
trick it out, but I think I'm going to wait anyway. I kind of like doing stuff the way it's intended. It's just the way I work. I know it might seem kind of silly, but... That's just me. Also, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and swim through here. Yeah, you can just swim through. You should only get hit like twice or something. Not really a big deal. Also, how am I doing on notes? Or how about the world in general, actually? Five jiggies, all the notes, all the jinjos, all the moves, all the honeycombs, uh, one Cheeto page, or two Cheeto pages. We, we had only one. Uh, yeah, I think that's actually it. I think that's all accounted for at the moment. Let's go ahead and see what's inside here. Okay, we have inside the UFO. Hello, who are you? Greetings, feeble earthlings. Whoa, real aliens. Are any of you called Elvis? No, we're Alf, Beta, and Gamo. We're also in a bit of a fix. Let me guess, you need to phone home? <laughs> now, we have a cell phone for that. The drive unit on our ship has run out of fuel. It's powered by crystallized ice, but we don't have any. I'm sure we'll be able to sort something out. Crystallized ice, I see. Also, you're a fake, because I already got all of you. Um, let's uh, use our ice eggs. Power up the other crystals quickly. They're not kidding. You don't. You don't have much time. Thank you, Earthling, Bear, and Bird. Now, please exit our ship as we need to leave. We are late for dinner. Er, any chance of a reward? We landed on a shiny thing. You may have that. Now go. Okay. Shiny thing that can only be one thing. I mean, really, what else could it be? <laughs> Main drive engaged. Activating nav scanners. Strange glowing lights on. All systems are go. Now let's get out of this awful earthling water and find the kids. I think they ejected somewhere over a snowy mountain. I don't know about you aliens, but that seems like a very good idea. Perhaps you should go there and eat a snow cone. 